Hey, you guys. Happy Friday. Okay, so I have so many great things to share with you guys. First of all, okay, we've got an unboxing, a Chanel unboxing. I have a little Saint Laurent unboxing. A few new designer things that you guys haven't seen yet. A few things that you may have seen on Instagram. This is like the handbag video that I feel, not that like I've been promising or anything, but um, but I do have some things to share. We haven't done one of these in a while. And I also want to do a different one in my closet where, you know, I'm just like getting real about these handbag brands, like what's happening with the markup, what's happening that makes sense, what doesn't, like which ones are, I think, smart to invest in, okay? Um, or not even invest in, but just ones that you should put that you, I don't know, that I'm a little iffy on purchasing. And um, I don't know, I just haven't been into that kind of stuff. Like, oh, you know, I'm really after this Hermes bag or this Chanel bag. I feel like I've gotten the ones that I really, really like. And what I've been into the last couple of years, which I feel like I've always kind of done this, but like, I just, I like what I like. It doesn't matter what brand it is. Those Tory Burch, Cloud, Miller, Sandals, whatever. I still like the original Miller ones, the makeup ones, the one, the makeup color, nothing better. I will link to those. Those are the ones you want. Um, but I talked about those that I found at Nordstrom Rack, and you got these comments like, um, so TikTokers say that Miller sandals are very chuggy. And I'm like, first of all, lady, taking your fashion advice from TikTokers, um, the word using the word chuggy is is chuggy itself okay we, that's this is a no chug zone we don't talk we don't talk like that um hate it and, and it's do whatever you want i think the quote chuggiest thing is telling people this is in this is out this is not uh, side parts middle parts um skinny jeans boot cut flares no okay i don't know i'm not into that okay we had a whole discussion about this on the podcast this week about about the look like I, I, I don't want to I don't want to get into it but this this look that like people are I, I don't know it's almost like too cool for school so let's just like not get anything I don't I don't know what what it is but I think I commented back to someone and I was like listen 10 years ago on this very channel I I'm sure after years and years before that of, of just I mean, y'all know, the, all the Tory Burch bags, the this, the that, the everything, the Tory Burch slides in every color. I went on this thing where I was like, mm, no, not not into it. Tory Burch, mm, 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 no, I would, I, mm. and then I'm like, listen, lady, like, s sooner or later, these millennials or whatever they are, not even millennials, I, I don't even know what the term would be, that, that, that use the word chuggy, are going to wise up, and they're going to get a pair of Miller sandals, and it's going to change their life, and they're going to love it, and I think... Just get, but just get what you want, you know? So if you don't and you have that closed minded mentality, you're going to miss out on some of the best things ever. I've got some really exciting things to show you today that, um, that I don't know, maybe TikTokers would be offended by. Maybe not. Depends on what brand it is, right? Which I think is the saddest thing, okay? Like, please, let's stop. Let's just stop taking advice from people that have no idea what they're talking about. Okay. Meanwhile, take all my advice. Just... I, I just like what makes me happy. I think that you guys should do that too. And just don't take all of these trends and stuff so seriously. But you know we're always on the lookout for the good stuff. So I have a few things that I want to share. So so it's our 15-year wedding anniversary. Brad wanted to get me something special. Um, I'll unbox this here in a second. But I want to show you guys a few things. Let's talk about um, what I'm wearing first. Okay, these earrings. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I've talked about these. All these different hoops that we've talked about over the last couple years. I just, these are some of my favorites. They're not too big, but they look, they look like very like fine. Still like trying to focus on my face. And they're pretty. These are just so pretty. And um, these are kind of like the chunkier versions. Like they're the larger stones and I have them in gold. These are so good too. These are, I don't know, like I usually don't wear these all the time when I'm like going so casual. These are usually the ones that I grab for. These little pave ones that are just more delicate, but I'll link to both of those. But I really love these that I'm wearing. Talk about this outfit. It's very true to size. I got medium on the top and bottom. Usually a top like this, I have to go for a larger, extra large for my chest. And I was so pleasantly surprised. It's so, so comfortable. 
and the fit of the leggings is really nice. I kind of want them in a bunch of different colors. Now, am I having a crisis? I don't know. I put my belly button ring back in the other night. I do that like every few years, like no rhyme or reason. Don't know why. Um, anyways, but I have this really nice gold one that I bought. I don't know, like I think like when I was in my early 20s or something, it's like real a real gold one. I got rid of all my other junky ones and I have not had it in in like years. And I saw it and I was like, that's cute. It's probably gonna start driving me crazy in a couple days and I'll remove it. But anyways, love this outfit. And I like things like this that you could put on that are just easy. And then um, obviously I'm not wearing, well, I don't know. Again, like the discussion we had on the podcast, like about just like crop tops and just letting it all hang out. Or you have to look like you just went into Goodwill and just grab things with your eyes closed. It's just style just perplexes me the things that I see and that's cool I mean fine whatever I like like a an outfit like this that's kind of just easy going um I'll zip up these are the best I absolutely love 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 these zip hoodies and this is the one that's like a little longer so it kind of you know it'll hit you like mid rear but then they also have one that's like a little shorter but it's so buttery soft I love these I have them in a few colors um, I want to talk about my new little leopard bag. As I said at the beginning, I haven't really been that into a lot of, a lot of like designery things or not even designery things, but just like, oh, I must have this bag or I really like that. And I like to be excited by something. I like to really want something or I really love that bag or, you know, I'm not, of course, I'm not going to spend money on something that I'm not even excited about, but I don't know. I just feel like, I've really been into um, the St. Laurent bags. I mean, I have a few things. I've, you know, I think last year I got that one that was that pretty woven one that was the YSL. So, so pretty. And so I was just browsing around and I found this. This is actually a men's bag, but it's, they have in a bunch of different colors. It's like a corduroy bag. I love, love, love the leopard, and I have been just real. This is one of those bags that I've really bonded with quick. Like, you know, like the Prada backpack or like, I don't know. It's just one of those that I feel I could just carry for years and never change out of it. I know that's nuts, but we talked about this on, on Instagram, about how to wear one of these dang, now we, and we've talked about it here too, you guys. I just, I get very burned up about belt bags, fanny packs, obviously wear them as a belt, which I think I mean, people do that, but I think that's going to be coming back pretty soon, too. That's how people are going to be wearing them. But with these, I mean, most of the time, I wear mine just under the arm like I'll show you. But I, 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 this is not what you want to do. And we see this a lot, especially, like, with the ones that are flatter. Um, just, I'm not, I don't understand. I, and that's fine. Okay. <laughs> but the, the rule is under the boob, Okay keep it under the boob. It's in that perfect zone where you can just reach and grab. This has so many different like compartments and it's just so comfortable and soft. And I, I think I might have said this, this is actually a men's bag. So if you're looking for this and you can't find it, I will link to it. This one is hard to find. Um, but I found so many really good, similar leopard options. I think there's something about a leopard bag. So anyways, so anyways, this is super cute and I really love it. Another good way to wear a bag like this, obviously, wear it crossbody, you can put it on your back. But then it's like, I'm wearing black, so the color's gonna go nuts, especially because I'm in front of a window. Everybody, my lighting, look, it's just, I don't have it set on here. It's, it's, it's automatic. I film with natural light. I do not have a studio with fake lights that are perfectly set to make me look blown out to the perfect you know degree that also looks normal to y'all if I look really bright it's because I'm really bright I mean I don't know what to do I'm not going to turn my brightness down so then that's unnatural that you know what I'm saying like I am fair I have a lot of natural light coming in and it is what it is and I wear a lot of black so that's that's on me um which that freaks out all the lighting so anyways I don't know it just has a lot of really good Apartments and it is huge like you can fit so much into this bag um, I also like you guys know I have that white one. That's the Louis Vuitton That is really my only other fanny pack and I really like carrying that one kind of like that Just carrying it on her shoulder, you know, but um, but yeah wearing it like that is probably my favorite just, But if you get a bag like this below the boob, okay 
throw it below the boob. And if you've been wearing a bag around your neck like this, which how are you even like, and that's not flattering. It doesn't even look good. Um, maybe adjust the, adjust it right below the boob. If, you, if you're like having problems with it, make it just hug your boob, like little by little, okay? You'll get there and, and it's gonna look so much better. Just trust me, it's gonna be more functional. But anyways, I don't really know what else to say about this other than I'm really enjoying it so far. It is made like so, so strong. I, I love, love, love the strap. It's got a very nice, really like just well-made hardware, very easy to adjust. And like I said, I don't know if the scale might be a tad bit bigger because it's a men's, um, but I I really just love everything about it. It's huge. There's a big old, big old tampon right on top there. Um, it just holds a bunch. It's got two little zip pockets on the side that you can put anything. I mean, I think that's kind of cool. Um, I like this little compartment that it's got up front. I keep like, you know, lip gloss, some makeup in there because this is, I wouldn't put like a cosmetic pouch in here because then that would... That's just too big. So I do kind of like those things separate. So I like it has that. And then it has a, um, a compartment back here where I usually keep my phone. But anyways, very cool bag. And I have given it a lot of love on Instagram. But I wanted to talk about it. This is cool too. I like how this is not printed. It's like stitched on. It's just a very, very nice, well-made bag. Okay, I did get another bag that you guys have not seen, so maybe that'll be like a bag reveal. Should I, you guys, I could have done this video like Chanel unboxing, that's one video. Bag reveal, that's another video. No, we're just, we're shoving it all in. Um, before I show you the shoes, I'm gonna open the Chanel bag last, um, but let me show you a few new other things. Okay, these shoes. Now you guys are gonna look at these and be like, what? Well, listen, these are so, 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 so. This is so, 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 so comfortable. And they're very, <laughs> I was going to say understated. They look like a disco ball. The logo is very understated. They also come in black, which is very akin to the Prada that we see all over. You know, the Prada ones that they made a few seasons ago, several seasons, that had like the, you know, like they have the bag that's sparkly and the shoes and everything, kind of the same vibe. So I'm kind of wanting the black now. But I really do love these. They're so stretchy and comfortable, buttery soft. They're by Tory Burch, but they don't scream Tory Burch. Tory Burch shoes, and we have talked about this, those boots that y'all went crazy over, some of my favorite shoes over the years, they don't have to look like the typical Miller sandals or the little mini ballet flats, if you guys are offended by those. You can, I'm just saying, don't miss out, because give it a look. I, the brand, I think, has um, evolved in a good way. You guys, I know. I know some of you are like, what? No, these are so good. And I have larger feet, so a lot of times a um, loafer does nothing for me. It just makes me look like I'm wearing like Papa's house shoes. Do you know what I mean? These are good because this part on the top doesn't come up so far. So um, I just want to adjust my camera, but, and I mean, obviously like not with this outfit, but I just really love the vibe of these. They're so fun. And um, they're also on sale right now. I believe they're 30 or 40% off. So I was thinking about grabbing the black, but these are like, they're like buttery soft leather, but then with these stones that look like they've been hand placed. I mean, they are so detailed and beautiful. These shoes look like a million bucks. All right, so let's open a few things. Um, all right, so I, I want to talk about this. This is something that I was kind of going to share in another video, but I thought let's just go ahead and do it since we're doing unboxings. Um, I needed a new card case, the pink Chanel one that I have carried for many years. My friend gave me years ago before my birthday, and it's fine. And it will, I can have that thing forever, but it is getting tattered, okay? Like, I've put that thing through, you know what? And I, again, I've been into like, YSL, St. Laurent things, and I just, and you know, I've had YSL bags over the years, St. Laurent, whatever, they really changed it, but like, I, I just, I love this logo, I, I love their things, I think that they're well made, and I thought this was a good price point for like a nice card case like this. I have not carried a wallet wallet in years, I even tried to go to like a really small one, and I couldn't, it was just too much. A card case is really all I need. I can put so much in these. And um, 
I just thought this one was beautiful. So it's like croc embossed and look at the color. You guys, it just makes me so happy every time I look at it. And obviously I haven't put my things in it yet because I just got it, you know, still in the box. But when I looked at it, I honestly thought I was buying a black one. And when I opened it and it was this color, I was so excited. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? So anyways, I just wanted to share that. So check out some card cases. I think that's a good way, speaking of designer things, like I said, I want to do that video at some point. Things that I'm still into, things I'd recommend bags that I don't recommend and just my mindset on that. Um, you know, I'm, I don't know, but if you're wanting to kind of get into some designer things and kind of not tiptoe into it, but you're like, okay, you know, I really want to get some nice things. I'm not going to like spend thousands on some designer bag or anything that's not in the budget, but I kind of want to tiptoe into something and not just spend a few hundred bucks on something that's, that's kind of garbagey or gimmicky. I'd say a card case, like a nice designer card case is the way to go. You can get one for a couple hundred bucks. You're going to have it forever. And it's something that you can use and enjoy every day. And it's very functional. And um, just trust me, you might think that is so small. It's going to change your life. Okay. I love a card case. So I'm really excited about that. Let me show you. This is the one. I forgot my purse was in here. I would have shown you my little pink one. This is the one I've used for years. And you can see she's packed with about 30 Starbucks gift cards. Um, it's just everything that you need and um, she's hanging in there and she's hanging tough but you know I just I want to use this forever but I also don't want to trash it just years and years and you know I want to be able to switch into different things but um the Chanel, Chanel card cases are really nice and that's another thing too if you're wanting a Chanel item a card case might be a good way to go okay I do have a bag that you guys haven't even seen that, um, I don't know if I'm going to show in this video. Well, how, what time are we on here? I think we're fine. Let's just go. Who cares? Okay, so let's unbox this. This was my anniversary gift from Brad, which I, we weren't going to do anniversary gifts. We usually, I don't know, we just aren't like, oh, we have to get something for each other for this holiday. You have to do that. There's pressure. Like, no, we don't do that. Um, but this was something that, you know, if you want a specific Chanel item, you have to get in the ear of somebody like you like if I said oh like that black Chanel mini bag that I bought years and years ago thank god before the price increases <laughs> plural which they went like off the deep end it's my favorite bag and I, I knew that's what I wanted so I asked about it and I had to wait a little bit until they had one in because they don't just have tons of stock of all these things if there's a certain shoe that you want they may not have them all the time they may have to wait until the next season comes in and this is a very classic, some of you might think like, okay, item. Um, but I have been so into my Chanel ballet flats. And we talked about ballet flats. I'm telling you, I'm not some like style forecaster. I just wear what I like and I'm pretty right about a lot of things. And I do resist a lot of ridiculous trends, okay? And then sometimes jump on the bandwagon late. I just, that's what I do, okay? So I'm not trying to predict anything. I'm just saying nothing is better and and especially like with the type of jeans now with just everything throwing on these are my old chanel ballet flats these are so comfortable i'm not so into like i don't wear really like a tory birch flat or something again maybe now i'm the person i'm going back to my thoughts again that's just they're not my i don't know they're too whatever these are just so classic nothing is more comfortable than these i could run a marathon in these shoes okay um, and I talked about a dupe a while back. Love those, but I gotta say, just they're just not as comfortable as these. They're comfortable, and if I recommended to them, and I know a lot of you guys bought them, and you love them, I love them too, but they're nowhere near as comfortable as these. And I just thought, you know, I really want to, I really want a black on black pair, and they're hard to find. Okay, they can be hard to find. So I told Brad, I think it was even like pre Christmas. I don't know. It's like I just want a pair of like the black ones. If you ever are wanting to get me something or you're talking to that person that you know we have like someone that we talked to there so they so these were available and it just happened to fall perfectly around valentine's and our anniversary and you guys i'm so happy i am so excited they're the quilted ones which these aren't my original ones aren't the quilted ones they're just the smooth ones you guys these are so comfortable and i have to be honest like and they are so cute with everything. They don't look like stuffy old lady. It just depends on what you put them with. But like, 
with, oh my gosh, but just with, like, even just big jeans or whatever. Like, I wanted to wear those when we went to the aquarium a while back because it was just, these are my comfy shoes. I wanted to look cute. But I didn't want my jeans that were a little wide leg or a little more relaxed to, like, fade on this. And I'm like, I want a, I've always wanted a black pair. And they are just so cute. And I just think that, like, again, there's so many cool ballet flats that look different or ones that have, like, there's a Tory Burch pair and many brands that do this that have, like, a crisscross that look, like, very traditional ballet flat-ish. Those, I think, are trending right now. But I thought, you know, instead of buying a bunch of the ones that are trendy or that are less expensive, that are still around 100 bucks because shoes are ridiculous. I mean, you know, for a reason, whatever. I just want, I want to invest in the ones that I really like. And I'm so excited. I just love them so much. So very, very excited about those. Those are like, oh my gosh, once you, I can't wait to break those in. Like I'm looking at these side by side. These are like all wide and like broken in. And these are still very new. I just can't wait. I just am so excited for those. So I think those, and they're shoes that you'll have forever. You know, they're just very nice quality shoes. Um, this week I did also get some new, a few new clothing items. Like, you know, you saw this, um, there's a few other outfits and I think the next video that we do, cause a few more things are coming in. Um, we'll do like a try on. I do want to mention these. You guys have seen me wear these or this <laughs> in a lot of Instagram posts. I feel cause I've been living in it the last week. And it is the softest hoodie ever. Just go to my Instagram if you want to see me wearing it. I mean, it's a sweatshirt, but it is the coolest, most relaxed, just buttery, living it every day. But so, not flatter. I feel like it looks good. I don't know. It's just, this is one of those sweatshirts where like, you know, a sweatshirt to sweatshirt to sweatshirt. I mean, yes and no. No. I mean, you guys know what I'm talking about. Like you could have a, three different oversized sweatshirts by different brands, but then like one is going to there may not be as flattering and it may fit smaller. One may be more flattering and it also fits smaller. One might be more flattering because it's bigger. I don't know. It's no rhyme or reason. It's just the cut. It's the fabric. It's how it lays on you. Something about this one is just so perfect. I got a medium and it is, this one was kind of oversized, but I really like it. I love the color. And um, I'm noticing like when I link to it that there's a bunch of different ones that are similar to this. But I'll link to this exact one because there's also one that's a color that's slightly darker, which I thought I was buying the matching pants to this. Don't waste your time buying the Nike sweatpants. They are so cute online on the model. There's so many different versions. The one that look a little, you know, like drawstring kind of gathered at the top and have like the wide leg and the slit. Some that look like more joggerish. I have ordered like so many different ones and they look atrocious like they're just not cute and I am a sweatpant legging jogger person they're just not good just wear these with like some black leggings or something but I loved it so much that I got it in the gray and what's odd is I got the same size but it's a lot smaller isn't that weird I feel like Nike's kind of inconsistent and what's odd about it too there's like different it's this it's so weird it's like different feeling material okay I don't know whatever I'm so glad to have the gray you guys are just like, what? Nike sweatshirt? I just wanted to talk to you about it because I thought I might save that for next week. But I do notice, especially when I went to link to that nude one, that they are kind of like, that they're a little, pick, not picked over, but I mean, maybe they're popular. I don't know. And they're kind of hard to find. You guys, I do have one more. Um, I do have one more bag. And I think I'm going to save it for next week because it's like something that you haven't seen on Instagram. It's something that I haven't carried, and it's something that I want to kind of get into a little deeper. This one is just, is what it is. It's amazing. It's so good. And so is the other one. But um, I thought, you know, especially since you've seen this a little on Instagram, I just, you know, I just wanted to show it to you guys. Um, especially if you wanted to find one, because I think they're a little hard to find. So I wanted to kind of show you that now. But I think this next bag, I'm going to have to save for next week, because I do think it, it warrants a little more, like, mm -mm -mm. So, yeah, me at the beginning of the year saying there's no bags that I want. I'm not excited by anything. And then here I am. No. But, guys, so many, so many fun things in this one. I feel so many great things. Check out these. Um, if you are into the Chanel flats or maybe ballet flats were not on your radar, kind of like mine for years. I've always kept good ones, but I never thought of them as, like, the most, 
like, oh, that's gonna really look great with that outfit, they're ballet flats. You know, it's not really what I'm going for. I think that's changing. So, you know, loafers have really been in in the last several years. I think we're gonna start seeing a lot of brands doing more with ballet flats. And um, yeah, I think this was a cool thing. Like if you're into Chanel or, you know, this is something, that's kind of a cool thing to look for. If you don't want to spend that or invest that in those, I will link to the dupes of those that are pretty much exactly the same. They just don't have the logo. And for me, it's about the comfort. Something about these, just nothing compares. Uh, but because I know how, I know what I've put these through. And you're looking at them and they still look fairly new. And um, they're just, even the soles, I mean, I think about everywhere I've been and what all, I mean, trips and stuff and they look good i mean they're not bad but very very well made shoes okay and <laughs> crap these if you want a little bit of fun these are so comfortable i wore them all around the house last night because i was like trying to break them in i just absolutely love them i'm a nine and a half in these i'm a 41 in chanel um in chanel ballet flats and their espadrilles certain things in different sizes but um it's pretty pretty standard i put i think i told you guys about my size in this Speaking of Anita Bing, I do have some accessories too that I think is going to be good to like lead us into the spring. Like it's way, it's still cold and I'm just, I'm so over it. I'm so ready for spring, but I have some things, but some good things to get now that will kind of like take you in, which I do feel kind of like this is such a good outfit for that because it's so versatile. Like I said, I mean, it's my belly been hanging out this whole time. I don't know, probably um, but it's, it's versatile, you know, throw it on with this now, and then it's such a great outfit for spring year round. I just think it's a great, a great thing. Um, but you guys, I had so much fun on this one. So can't wait for next week. I have so many great things coming up and I will talk to you guys then. Bye y'all.